Hello everyone. We start this episode at Senado Square. This square is built in front of the Leal Senado building. This Leal Senado was the seat of the Portuguese Macau government in the past. Vast majority of the buildings around the square are European style and many are protected monuments. In the early 90s, the square was designated as a pedestrian zone. Since that time, many large events were hosted on the square, like festivals, celebrations, flea markets, and performances. Today, we are on the way to meet two friends. They will introduce us the dim sum. We will learn some tips about the way to eat this famous Chinese meal. We choose Jen Dim Sum restaurant. This is a new school snack shop. They serve dim sum dishes at any time during the day. This branch is part of a group of restaurants around Macau under the same name. They combine traditional and innovative methods insisting on handmade dim sum. But what is dim sum? Essentially, it is a Chinese meal of bite-sized portions served in small steamer bamboo baskets or on a plate that contains combinations of meats, vegetables, seafoods, and fruits. But let me introduce Alice and Alessandro. They will tell us more about this fantastic meal. Hello, everyone. Today we are here in Jen Dim Sum. It's a Chinese restaurant uh, specialized in dim sum and we have uh, the opportunity to be uh, with Alice and with Alessandro. Hello. Uh, Alice is from uh, here from Macau and Alessandro is from uh, Venezuela. Dim sum is originally a Cantonese custom was first served by tea houses to travelers along the Silk Road in China. This meal is still popular in today's culture, thanks to the travelers who popularized it in the past. Well, in sum, it's actually a way to cook. Small dishes, all cooked by steam. So the steam comes from the bottom of the dish, and then all of them will be cooked with the flow of air going to the upper part of the dishes. So all of them are cooked by the steam and that's why they are dim sum. It's not the food, it's actually the way it's cooked. It's a very interesting story of dim sum and for the old people, the old generation, they love to have dim sum in a very early, early morning, like around 7 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that. Because in that time, 7 to, to, to 10 a.m., the dim sum is more cheaper. They have different price for different time period. So if we go to have a dim sum like around 11 a.m. or almost uh, for the lunch time, then it will be more expensive. So that's why. But it only happens in the past now. In our young generation, we, yeah, and then we, we will go to a bit some, like around 11. Then we will uh, have, a, have a little food and drink some tea and then have a, have a chair and then we will consider it as a lunch as well. This is a different story. There are two ways to serve dim sum. The first way is in trolleys, where servers push a cart of bamboo baskets filled with various dim sum, and you point to what you want according to what you see. The second way dim sum is served is more formal, where you check off the dishes you want on a small slip of paper. Different dim sum. We don't, we don't, we don't eat 
a lot of one dish. It means we can share and also have some space, leave some space for other delicious things. This is my favorite shalom bab. This dish is originally from Shanghai and it's very famous in the Song cuisine. So we really like it. Uh, yeah. Special shalom bao. They keep the soup inside. Yeah, it has soup. It's not dry at all. It's not dry. This is the shalom bao. Inside there is soup. So you must take out the soup before eating. That's the way I learned before. So first you take the shalom bao. Second you put it in the spoon. And then you will try to take the soup somehow. So the best way is open a hole and then take the soup out. After you take the soup, you put it in the soy sauce with vinegar. Then you eat it. So this is steamed shrimp dumplings. Have uh, like a uh, two little shrimp inside with the rice roll. Yeah. And looks like a dumpling. Yeah. And this one as well. This is congee and with some pork and special egg. Yeah. Very difficult to make because it really takes like more than three hours to make this soup. This congee. Yeah. This congee. Yeah. Yeah. This is barbecue pork inside. This is barbecue pork inside. And the pork is special. Yeah. You can uh, this three is a combined and then this one is a simple dumpling with some mushrooms. Yeah. Delicious. Very very famous and classical dim sum. Yeah. And this one, this one you can see is uh, different. You can see what it is inside because it is from Chaozhou, so it's Chaozhou style. It's also like a steam dumpling. What kind of meat is inside of that? It's like a, some pork and some different Pe kind of vegetables. And peanuts. Mm, yeah. Now you know what Tim Sun is and you can feel a bit confident in your ability to order when you come to Jen Dim Sum restaurant. Okay guys, we just finished uh, our food, our Dim Sum. It was amazing. I want just to thank Alice and Alessandro to be with us. Yeah, no. And uh, just wait for the next videos. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your culture, your knowledge. And it is my first experience, I have to say, it's amazing. Yeah.